If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Everyone, I'm Dr. Paramjit, and you're watching Doctor Education. And today we are going to talk about atherosclerosis. But before anything else, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, then do subscribe to the channel now, and don't forget to press the bell icon. Atherosclerosis is a disease in which a plaque builds up inside your arteries. Arteries are the blood vessels which take up blood from the heart to the organs, to all the organs, right? There are another type of blood vessels which are called veins. Veins take up the blood from all the organs and bring it back to the heart. So atherosclerosis is a disease in which plaque builds up inside the arteries. Now what is a plaque? Plaque is basically a name given to a sticky substance which is made up of fat, cholesterol, calcium and other substances which are found in your blood. So when all these substances get, get stuck up within the lumen of your arteries, slowly over time it becomes larger and larger and then it hardens and narrows your arteries. Now that will cause an obstruction. This obstruction will limit the flow of oxygen rich blood to your body. Now why is that a problem? Because this artery takes the blood, oxygen rich blood from your heart to the organs now this if it gets obstructed then the organ is not getting blood oxygen rich blood so not getting enough oxygen so the organ will have a problem so it will show signs of damages now atherosclerosis can lead to serious problems including coronary artery disease now that happens when arteries supplying blood to your heart are blocked and then you can actually suffer from a heart attack or have a chest pain which is also called angina so coronary arteries are the arteries which supply blood to your heart muscles yes heart supplies blood to itself by blood vessels atherosclerosis can also cause carotid artery disease Carotid arteries are the arteries which, sub, which are present in your neck which supply blood to your brain. So if there is blockage in carotid arteries then you can have dizziness, you can have a stroke, you can have a cerebrovascular accident which is a CVA. So it's basically a stroke. Carotid artery disease is also a serious condition caused by atherosclerosis. And third thing which atherosclerosis causes is peripheral artery disease, yes. So just as it can block your arteries going to the heart or to the brain, it can block any arteries going to your peripheries, even to the hands or to the foot. So arteries in your arms, legs, pelvis, abdomen, anywhere can get blocked and wherever there is a blockage, you will have either numbness or pain or even sometimes you might come up with an infection because the arteries which are not getting enough blood they die because the parts which are not getting enough blood they are more prone to infections and less likely to fight infection because obviously your organs need blood to fight infections. Atherosclerosis usually does not cause any symptom it doesn't show any symptom until and unless it severely narrows or totally blocks your arteries. So many people don't even know that they have it until they have a medical emergency. So how will you know whether you have this or not? Only by a physical examination, imaging studies and other diagnostic tests. Depending upon your symptoms which the doctors run can tell you if you have it. Now, 
how can you prevent it how can you treat it medicines can slow the progress of plaque build up but if there is a major plaque or major blockage your doctor may recommend a procedure called angioplasty which is which is like an operation to open up the arteries and remove the plaque or the alternative is a surgery surgery can be done to remove the plaque or if the artery is very severely blocked and plaque cannot be removed then surgery can be done to create a bypass way so that the blood can bypass the blockage and still reach the organ this can be done in your heart in your carotids as well as in the peripheral arteries now what can we do to prevent this condition the most important thing which you can do is live a healthy lifestyle yes lifestyle changes can help healthy diet a regular exercise most important thing is regular exercise and maintaining a healthy weight quit your smoking because smoking increases chances probability of having a plaque it decreases the elasticity of your blood vessels thereby giving more cracks giving more plaques and more blockages and one of the most important things manage your stress have a good 6 to 8 hours sleep at night forget about your stress exercise regularly eat a healthy diet get your regular physical health examination every year with your doctor and stay tuned with our channel if you have any questions do write to us i'm dr paramjeet and you're watching doctor education and again if you haven't subscribed already then do subscribe to our channel we give videos in english and hindi language make sure you search for your english videos if you prefer the language thank you so much for watching